Hi creators, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome back to the ZBrush Core tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we went over how to extract the armor and started adding details to it. In this video, we are going to finalize the details and also texture it. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Tutorials include Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's get started in completing this female armor piece. Um, moving on. Let's say I want, and this is going to look really <laughs> weird, but let's say this chest area is made out of links. Like, I actually wanted to have links, right? So I do have an alpha known as uh, chain link, right? So I can grab this and I can grab the just a regular standard brush and I can use this chain link and, you know, just like a rectangle, I can go ahead and click and drag, which will give me the design, right? Uh, let me get a mask. Eh, you don't want that. So let's make sure that we turn off the alpha and I'm just going to make a selection. Try to get it straight here. Let's pretend that this is going to be all chains. So I'm going to flip it. It's going to look weird, but I can grab the rectangle and, you know, just like what we've done before, we can actually go in and kind of start drawing these things in. But it can be a little bit challenging. You know, I can make them really large, which looks weird, or I can try to repeat them and kind of try to get them. And it's a little hard. So we're going to use a new tool that we have in use today, and it's called Surface. And in Surface, we have something called Noise. We can click on Noise, and it will give us a preview of what it's going to look like. So very quickly, you can see that I can create noisy, kind of like a noisy armor, and I have control over it. So I can actually grab the scale and increase the noise or decrease it depending on what I want. So right now my armor is looking a little bit dented, but if I wanted to make it look like that matte finish, a little bit of a noisy finish, I could actually use this to enhance that. Now, I'm not sure why it's giving me that weird chest area uh, thing, but you know, uh, I'm not sure that's kind of weird, but uh, you can increase the strength. You can decrease it. So very quickly, I can actually create some really interesting um, noise with it, right? So I'm going to build it up a little bit. Not sure why it's doing that. I'm like, what's wrong with that? And then you can click. Okay, now there is some things you can play around here. So I'm going to, as you can see, I can increase this and decrease this. And that's actually getting rid of that weird noise, which I want. So once I have it in a particular look, you can see that it looks a little bit more banged up and looks cooler. Click OK. Now, it's OK in the sense of, OK, it's on this armor, but that doesn't mean that it's actually on the armor. You actually have to click on Apply to Mesh. And now it's on the mesh. All right, so really fast, I can create this really interesting noise with it. But I can go further with it. I can actually create, and this is not going to make sense with this armor, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, we can actually create um, noise using a map that we have per we can provide it. So let's pretend <laughs> this tube top is going to be the chain link sense. This is not gonna make any sense. I did not think about this very well. <laughs> well, let's say if I had her arm. Well, maybe I should just do her arms. Actually, let me just. Bring <laughs> I did not work this hard for screw it up. Now let me bring the lady. Um, and her armor, so you can see that uh, it's looking cool, and I could probably do more, you know, indentations there, but I'm going to grab her arm. So let me hide this, and I'm going to mask her arm. Maybe get out of the rectangle and increase my draw size. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, let's make it nice and solid. And again, I'm going to click on Extract. I'm going to click Accept. And we now have this sleeve. OK, so I'm going to hide the armor. I'm going to hide the lady. And let's take a look at this one. So 
With this one, what we can do is also go to noise, um, surface noise. And you can see that we get this design here, which is the noise. But over here in the corner, we have something called alpha on off. If I grab the alpha, and I kind of miss, I kind of have to play around with this because I usually mess this up and I have to try a couple of times, but there's an alpha scale if I, and if I, nope. And then there's a noise scale. And if I just get it just right, it shows up. It's a little weird. I got it to work the other day and now I'm like, where is it? There it is, finally. So what you can do is actually get it to um, uh, create a noise and the noise gets replaced by the alpha. And you'll also notice that it pulls. So the reason why the textures are stretching out is because this model doesn't have UVs. And let's see, where is my, and you can invert it. I did this way. Oh, there it is. So then we click OK, and you can see that it looks pretty good on one side, not so hot on the other, but it gives you this really cool looking thing, and then you can apply the mesh. Now, my geometry wasn't that high, so therefore, that's what happens. So I can always undo. I can divide. I'm at 800. You can divide again if you want, and then you can hit Noise again, Apply to Mesh, and the quality is going to be much higher. It's a fun tool, but the idea is that you can very quickly add some um, noise to your armor. And if you have the right alpha map with the right projection, you might get um, better results. But the idea is there. Hopefully, you guys can see it. And very quickly, I've created a really cool looking armor set. You can add more rivets and things like that in the edges. So again, that could be a nice little alpha map. So you can go in and just kind of, and you can add little rivets to it which will make it look a little bit more realistic. And remember some of them actually uh, did prayers and things like that on their armor. So you're welcome to you know, design a little token elven prayer or something cool. So remember to take a look at reference, I'm just, showing you different techniques, right? So it's all over the place. There's Celtic, there's lions, there's decor. <laughs> it's just all over the place. So uh, make sure that you take a look at, look at reference as you're designing your armor. So you can produce something that's a little bit more cohesive. But the point of this exercise is more like to show you guys how to create different types of decor so that you guys can kind of come up with your own if you want to. So for example, maybe down here, whoa, um, at the bottom, uh, we can kind of mask some stuff out. So let me hold down control. Let me get my dry size to be small. And then I could say, you know, digital sculpting. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Might use the damn standard. Increase my intensity a little bit. And yeah, you can just have a little bit fun on the designing. All right, so uh, you don't have to have the girl there. You can actually hide her. Let's make sure we zoom in. You want to make sure that we get some nice designs, a nice look of your, of your all your hard work and decoration. We probably want a couple of views. So once again, you guys can uh, you know pick the, the metal that you want. So it can kind of enhance your object if you want. You can also, you know paint some of it. So for example, maybe um, I want my my arms to be a different type of metal. So maybe I want it to be more, no, maybe more like a darker chrome. Uh, let's see, I can kind of hover maybe this one, maybe better for the arms. So don't forget, you want to grab material. I'm going to turn off sub just because I'm worried. And then just click on fill object. Then you can select your armor. 
find the metal that you want. Maybe this one, and then this one can be fill all, right? And then if you wanna change the color here, that's when you can actually start drawing. So if you want to do, let's say gold, make your brush bigger. I should have symmetry on. Why don't I have symmetry on? Shame on me. So this is my, let's say this is my armor and I'm done. Let's go ahead and render it. The first thing you need to do is click on PBR, which is this little button right here. It's gonna render it with better shadows and it's a higher quality render. The next thing you need to do is actually go into document and click on export. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to export it here. And then it's going to ask you what do you want to crop, right? So the closer you are to your object, the better. But here, if you don't see anything, you can actually crop left, crop top, and eventually you'll see a circle, which you can click and drag. Same here on the left. I can crop here, crop here and then I can get a nice render and then click OK. When you create your turntable movie, that if you click on doc, it would actually take a look at the document, not the window, and then large, which means that it's gonna make it into a large render, then you can go ahead and click on turntable. So again, make sure you zoom in because we wanna get a nice look. Um, you can get a higher quality by clicking on PBR. So it's gonna render it, but the turntable is literally going to do PBR every single time. And then uh, let's get rid of other things such as I don't want any Maya logo and I also don't need a title to fade in and fade out. Um, I would do that in post. So once I do that, go ahead and click on turntable. And because I have PBR active, it's actually going to render every single one of the late, every single one of the images. Um, So it's gonna take a little bit longer, which I don't think, well, maybe for this exercise we can. Hopefully my computer can handle it while Zoom's active. <laughs> I'm just going to press escape for now because it's taking too long and I'm getting frustrated. Okay. Uh, then you can actually play the movie and see the results and you can see that the quality is significantly better. Let me try that again. Ooh la la. Play movie. Pretty. All right. Let's, uh, let's save a high quality render. Whoops. Click on the letter H, which stands for high. Uh, we can export it. And I really wish there was another option. It's kind of frustrating that it, there is no other option. But let's see, armor, da, 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 da. and it won't play. So now I have to go into uh, Premiere or after. Let me do After Effects. Because with Premiere, I have to save and create a whole file. And with After Effects, I can just drag it in. I'll be just faster. All right, I'm going to grab this in here, drag it in, drag it into the timeline. And there's my armor. And in Premiere After Effects, you guys can write your names and stuff like that. Um, so you guys can create a nice little portfolio. All right, so there you go. Very quickly, we using Alpha Maps, um, noise, 
couple of shaders, you can create a uh, really cool looking decorative armor. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you did, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this type of content and that you want to see more. Also, please share if you feel that somebody could use a quick lesson on how to create decorative armor, please share my videos. That would be amazing. Also, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you will find free ebooks, free downloads, and so much more. Also, take a peek at eCourses. Those are courses that are a deep dive to Maya, including modeling, UV mapping, and texturing. If you want to support me a little bit more, then please consider purchasing an eCourse. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating, and I will see you next time.